Hey, Steve Noble, Noble Moto. Uh, what we're doing today, got our 05 Dyna up here on the lift, and uh, we're gonna put some better aftermarket shocks on there. Uh, I bought some from Racing Brothers. Uh, these are 13s, uh, stocks are 12.5. Um, I had some Hagons on there before, um, but uh, figure I'd upgrade a little bit just to keep it simple. Um, I put stock shocks back on here just to avoid any confusion or anything um, when doing the install. So. Pretty straightforward thing. Uh, most people do this, just gonna have a jack or two under the back end of the bike once it's stable. Uh, just enough to pick the back end up and then once you get the shocks unbolted, you'll have to be able to move the swing arm a little bit to get the bolts to line up. Uh, yep, so that's all I got. Let's get right to it. All right, so uh, first thing I wanna do is get the rear wheel up off the ground. So I got this old scissor jack here and I'm gonna position this underneath the rear frame mount here. And we will crank this up. Oops, sorry about hitting the camera there. We'll crank this up pretty much until the rear wheel is off the ground. off the ground. All right, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna undo the shop, the top shock bolt and then the bottom one. We're just gonna break them both free first. Top one, three quarter inch socket will do you. All right, and crack the, and the bottom one is a 5 16 Allen wrench. On the nut on the back of the thing is a three quarter. So we'll be able to slide the three quarter inch wrench in from the from right about there. Should be able to wrench that sucker right on out of there. All right, and then from there, we're gonna take the top nut off. Take the little chrome shroud off and drop the washer on the floor. I wanna pick that up. And from here, we're gonna to wanna to put the ball jack underneath the swing arm and uh, lift that up a little bit and level out the whole swing arm so we can unline the, or you know, line up the bolt to remove it. All right, next we have our bowel jack here. I'm going to position this underneath the swing arm. I'm gonna go all the way to the back here. Bowel jack has seen better days and I don't know what happened to the original special tool, so we make do. with even just that little bit of up and down action there. And if you wiggle the bolt here as you do this, you should be able to find the moment. Oh, I think we went past it. You should be able to find the moment that the bolt comes free or loosens up a little bit. Right about there, Whoop. slides off just like that. I saw the spacer just hit the floor there. So we definitely wanna keep track of those as we do this. All right, now that we have the bottom off, like I said, bolts, kept track of the spacer. All our washers and everything are off the top. Shock should just slide right off of there, just like that. All right, got our shock off of there. Uh, ready to install the new shocks. Pretty straightforward procedure. Mounting reservoir goes down. Slide the top on first. Remember, don't forget about your spacer here. 
Um, so we're gonna slide the, we got the bolt already slid through the shock. We'll slide the spacer on the back side of it. Now we might have to, looks like we might have to lower the bottle jack a little bit more. Whoop. To get the shock bolt to line up. Actually, it looks like we're gonna jack the back of the bike up a wee little bit more. The swing arm dropped a little bit. Right there. Make sure the top's on all the way. Make sure the bottom's on all the way. Well, you can see the how the shock right there runs right up to the top mount. And of course, down here on the bottom, got the bolt running right up to you know the spacer and everything. So everything looks nice and lined up. So there's no weird side loads going on or anything. So from there, we can put the nuts back on, torque it down. So first thing we're gonna do is take our nut here for the bottom shock bolt, reach around the back side and thread that sucker right on there. All right, so up here at the top, I was gonna put the little chrome shroud back on here, but um, the stock one does not fit over this notch. I may be able to come back and notch this out at a later date, uh, but I'm just gonna put it back on like this, see how I like it. So of course, washer and your chrome acorn nut, just thread down there with your fingertips. And of course, we'll go back down the bottom. 5 16 wrench in there. And put our box in wrench on the back side of it there. And snug all this up. And go back up the top here and Snug that one up. And we'll just torque it all spec. All right, from here, all we have to do is torque these a spec. So we're going to put our box end wrench on the back side of this bolt here. Make sure it's positioned the right way because it is a wrenching wrench. Let that sit against the swing arm so it doesn't go anywhere. Then uh, the service manual says 25 to 40 foot pounds. I'm going on the high side of that and going right to 40. But of course, check your service manual. They do change this from year to year. We will torque this down. And right there. All right, now we move up the top shock mount. This is also 25 to 40 foot pounds. Right there. There you have it. From there, we'll let down our bottle jack. Switch over the other side, do that. Take it off the ramp and we're ready to go ride.